Yeah, I now want to start a series of uh, lectures on investment analysis in portfolio management. This is the first uh, of its series, as in by and by, by and by, I'll be making it. Now, what is the investment environment? First part, first chapter is investment environment and investment management process. In that, the contents will be investing versus financing, direct versus indirect investment, investment environment, vehicles in markets, and investment management process. First, investing. What is investing? Investing is nothing but obviously employing the funds during the period to enhance your wealth and wealth management. Okay, you have to differentiate between real investment uh, and financial investments. Real investments will be in land, machinery, factories, and financial investment will be in stocks and bonds. Okay, then you have uh, corporate finance, you have corporate investments, you have individual investments, and then different methods that are used for them. So you will have two types of investors, individual investors and institutional investors. In individual investors also you will have retail investors and institutional investors will be called companies, banks, insurance companies. Then direct versus indirect investing. Direct investing means you directly invest using the financial markets, go through the broker. Indirect investing means indirect you go through the mutual fund or other things where you have some other management uh, person will manage your pool of money along with it. Now, investors can employ their funds by performing direct transactions by passing the financial institutions. Okay. Now, types of investing and alternatives for investing. First, the types of investing will be, as we said, direct investing through financial markets, indirect investing through financial institutions, and direct transactions. And alternatives will be raising equity capital or borrowing in financial markets, borrowing for financial institutions, borrowing partnership contracts, and investment environment. What does investment environment mean? Investment environment is the existing investment vehicles in the market available for investor and places for transactions with these investment vehicles. Thus, uh, we have investment vehicles. What are the investment vehicles? One is that they are financial assets, financial, they are divisible, okay? Whereas real assets are not divisible. Then marketability, liquidity for financial assets is more than physical assets. Then planned holding period financial assets can be much shorter, even if you hold it for one hour, one minute. Yeah, but whereas for uh, physical assets, it will be a lot of time will be there. Information about financial assets is more controlled, regulated, so you will have more information, more abundant and less costly than the investment about your real assets. So these are the three, four things. And main types of financial investment vehicles are short-term investment vehicles, fixed income securities, common stock, speculative investment vehicles and other investment tools. Now among short-term investment vehicles, what are they? Certificate of deposits are there. Treasury bills are there, commercial paper is there, bankers acceptances are there, and repurchase agreements are there. Then certificate of deposit is a debt instrument issued by a bank. Treasury bill, T bill is issued by the government. Okay, it is available in treasury branches or on online or with the Reserve Bank of India. Commercial paper is a short term unsecured promissory note issued by a company. Commercial paper, you can buy it from large corporations for 30 to 60 days. Then bankers' acceptances are vehicles created to facilitate commercial trade transactions. Bankers' acceptances become because there is a bank accepts the responsibility to repay. So it is not there, but they are not standardized and there is no active trading. Then repurchase agreement is called a repo. Repurchase agreement is a sale of security with a commitment to buy it back. Okay. Then fixed income securities. What are the fixed income securities? Long term debt securities and preferred stocks. Long-term debt securities are long-term debt instruments issued as a contractual obligation by the government or by a corporation or by a public sector entity. And preferred stock are the uh, prefer preference stocks where the uh, dividend is fixed, but there is no uh, ownership in the company. And common stock, as opposed to preferred stock, you have common stock that is called equity stock, equity shares, equity shares or ownership rights in a corporation. And you have ownership uh, rights, so you have voting rights, you will attend the meetings, so, okay? Then that's possible. But uh, there is no guarantee of return, only when they make profit, you will be able. First, the preference will be given to debt in investments, their interest, then the preference will be given to preferential shareholders, then the common stock or the equity shareholders will get their money. Even within that, some amount will be retained by the company, only some amount, 20% uh, percent uh, it's a minor part will be given out every year. Then speculative investment vehicles. What are speculative investment vehicles? Speculative investment vehicles are those vehicles which have a high risk and high return. The risk is very high 
And if you take the risk, then the return also will be high. So what are these different vehicles? One is options, futures, forwards, commodities, trading on exchange, of commodity exchange like coffee or grains and things like that. Now, what are options? Option is a derivative financial instrument. An option is a contract which gives the owner of the contract the right but not the obligation to buy or sell a financial asset at a specified price from or to another part. There are two types of uh, options. One is a call option, the other is a put option. And every purchaser has to pay a premium to the seller of a contract. Okay? Call option is an option to buy and put option is an option to sell at a future date a particular asset. Then futures. What is a future? Future is a contract between two parties where they agreed to transact in respect of a financial asset at a predetermined price at a specified time in future. If you want to play in futures, you need to have maintain a margin with the broker and nothing else to be paid up front. But in case of options, you have to pay the option premium up front. Okay? Then other investment tools are various types of investment funds, investment of life insurance, pension funds and hedge funds. And then there are two types of funds, open-ended funds and closed-ended funds. Open-ended funds, there is no, you can always get in and get out whenever you want. Their price is based on NAV. Closed-ended funds are, they will be open only for a few people, for some time and then you have to get in later on, whenever they open. Insurance companies assume risk of adverse events and then for a premium, they cover your risk. Pension funds, the asset pool, they pull the assets and then invest in stock market, treasury bonds, corporate stocks. Hedge funds are unregulated private investment partnership limited to institutions and high net worth individuals. They seek to exploit the various market opportunities and thereby earn a very large return than ordinarily available. They concentrate on and they are very, very risky. So let's go to the next financial markets in the next lecture. Thank you.